So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the, like, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tally ho there champs. Now, what you're looking at here is the Aero 15 Classic on the left with the 9th generation 9750H processor. And on the right, you have the Aero 15, the last generation, and it basically has an 8750H. That's the only difference between these two. Actually, there are some other differences. I'll get to them in a minute. Basically, the Aero 15 on the left is a new version. It has the 9th generation CPU, versus the eighth generation on the right. Same GPU, RTX 2070, Max-Q. So let's have a look at which one's faster for gaming, what the difference is. Now I will note this new Aero 15 Classic on the left has a new keyboard, new RGB keyboard. It's much brighter, it looks much better in terms of RGB, feels different. I don't know, maybe the old one I like better, but someone actually did complain that you can't see the secondary function keys on the numbers and on the function keys with the new RGBs. I don't know, that's a big deal but for some people it is believe me because someone in the comments also you can see on the left is a full hd 240 hertz display and on the right is a 4k display and what you'll notice is that the 4k looks soft because it's actually 1080p content played on a 4k display it's not at its native resolution so yeah it does look a little bit different so before i get into the gaming benchmarks between the 9758 and the 8758 let's just talk about the behavior of it and what sort of difference so if you don't know what I'm talking about here are the ninth generation CPUs you can see up the top and on the bottom you have the older ones we're talking about the one that's going to be in most gaming laptops the 8750H was probably in over 90% of laptops and the 9750H the new ninth generation will be in most gaming laptops or any 15 inch gaming laptop or even content creation laptop that's the one that's going to be mostly used it's going to be the backbone but anyway let's have a look at the differences look both run in Unigen. Now I actually did do a test where I pegged both of them 100% and what we saw is with the clocks going from 3 to like 3.2 gigahertz all cores, Prime 95, small FFTs, there was like no difference in the wattage per frequency. So you know when it was 3.1 on both of them, they were both drawing around that 60 sort of watts. There was like virtually no difference. But you can see here clearly in a gaming scenario, well this is sort of like a gaming scenario, you can clearly see here frequency for frequency. You can see that the ninth generation CPU on the bottom at the same sort of CPU usage and the same frequency uses less watts. And it's like up to five watts different sometimes. Sometimes even a little bit more. Sometimes it's very similar. But that's completely different to when I pegged the CPUs 100% where they're both using the same sort of wattage. Now, what happens is this is sort of like a gaming scenario. So it's using the GPU and the CPU. Once you light up the GPU, what usually happens is they put more voltage into the CPU. But when you start using more power, the efficiency of the power driving the CPU and the GPU, it becomes less. So there's more fluctuations in current. And we're only talking like millivolts here, but that sort of fluctuation when you're using like CPU and GPU, because you're really stressing the power system of the power supply and indeed the VRM, because you're going to get that slight fluctuation in current they're gonna you know juice up those cpus a little bit more to make sure they stay up now obviously intel have given these manufacturers the data on what they should be using what voltage at what frequency and etc and the engineers would have worked through that and obviously you can see here that at the same frequency now this is using very low cpu usage because Unigen Heaven doesn't use much of the CPU, but you can see sometimes five watts better, but it is running hotter. As you'll see, there's like nearly five degrees difference. And also you'll see that, you know, the frames per second with the ninth gen are higher. So yeah, you are getting better performance. I'll get into the gaming benchmarks in a sec, but it is running hotter. That could be because it's running at a higher frequency, but it also could mean that this new Gigabyte Aero Classic actually is a lot quieter than the old model. Now, I don't know why that is. I've gone into the control center. I've checked the fan curve. It's like exactly the same, but it seems to be quieter. So maybe Gigabyte have done something with the cooling system here. So maybe that's the difference in the temperature. But then again, you know, we've got two units. There's variation in different units just the way the thermal paste has been applied can make a huge difference so you can't draw too much conclusions in terms of temperature because it's a sample size of two units but anyway as you can clearly see in the gaming benchmarks here yes 
you're sort of like in the margin of error here. It is faster. Sometimes it's the same. Three to five frames per second faster. It's not a huge deal. So at the end of the day, would I say upgrade? No chance. Don't even upgrade. Don't even worry about that. Is it better? Yes, it is better. It can run the same frequency, the same CPU usage in gaming. As I said before, with CPU only, I had different results, but in gaming, certainly, it runs at a lower wattage for the same frequency and it can boost higher. You've seen in Unigine Heaven, it could get up to 4.1 most games it'll be around 4 gigahertz because there'll be more cpu usage and even in battlefield 5 which has a lot of cpu usage i was still getting frequency for frequency less wattage with the ninth generation so it's a good part if there's not too much price difference between the 8th gen and the 9th gen model get the 9th gen but if you can get a deal on the 8th gen definitely pick that up but in saying that this Gigabyte Aero, they've done something with the cooling. It's not as noisy. They've got a new keyboard. The RGB is much better. So maybe there are some other things that they've done with the new ninth generation model. So you've got to check that out. You've got to work out what's going on. I will have a game review on this ninth generation Aero 15 Classic very soon. And the Razor Blade. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.